What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jahan, in case you're new. In this particular reading, we're going to be focusing on the dream home that you're currently manifesting. Um, this is a timeless reading, so if it's meant for you, you'll stumble upon it at the right time. Um, as per usual, just ignore what you feel doesn't apply to you or your specific situation. Ultimately, this is for, you know, many people. It's meant for entertainment. So just, you know, have fun with it. Um, I have four options today. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams as well as the Home and Estates Luxury Living Worldwide magazine to kind of get a better visual of the home you're manifesting. So I'm going to jump right in because I don't want the reading to be super long. Um, let's pick options. Let me clear the energy. So I have four options. Isn't that cool? My boyfriend just ordered this. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to use it on my YouTube channel. Because period. <laughs> so we have four options today. Um, pick whichever option you feel the most drawn to. Um, if you feel like picking more than one, do that. If you feel like, no, I just got to pick this one particular option. Just go with whatever your intuition is telling you. So this is going to be option number one. We have option number two. Option number three. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have some fluorite for option number four. Timestamps will be pinned in the comments as well as listed in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy your reading. All right, so if you were drawn to this option, let's take a look at the dream home you're manifesting. And shout out to everybody who shows my channel love, people who leave comments, who are liking the videos, um, people who order readings, most especially, I really appreciate it, as well as the people who have left me a tip. I really, really appreciate it. So jumping in, um, we have the Palace of Cups. Beautiful. So being that cups is the element of water, something about water is coming through. I feel as though the dream home you're manifesting could um, be by a body of water. So that you, you could live on or by the sea. You could uh, live by a river, a lake. You may have a stream at the back of your home. Maybe you may even have a pool. I just feel as though something about water is coming through because you even see the dolphins swimming some of you guys you may have a beautiful aquarium you may have a pond who maybe you could have one of those um koi fish pond you know koi fish are hella expensive the, one koi fish can go upwards of a hundred thousand dollars they're very expensive so if maybe some of you guys you know you're gonna have a, a pond with koi fish i just feel as though something about water is coming through Something about your home is going to be very peaceful. I'm hearing like the word tranquility. So very peaceful. You're going to really feel like your home is a safe haven to come home to. Some of you guys, I feel like this dream home you're manifesting could be blue or light blue. Any sort of shade of blue. I'm picking up on like colors like this. Or even this color, like till colors, very pretty. Something about your home is just coming off as very, very peaceful. I'm picking up on like very bougie, bougie vibes for your home. Yeah, I, can't, I see more tropical fish. So something about tropical fish. Maybe your dream home is going to be somewhere warm, somewhere in the tropics. Also, look at how the sun, you can see the sun rays coming through. Some of you guys, I feel like you may have like, what are those things called? You know, like the sunroofs. Maybe you may have a sunroof in your bathroom 
or like you may have a sunroof in your your bedroom something about what your windows are going to be very i'm hearing the word spectacular and the way it's going to let sun into your home is going to be very very beautiful during the day but also at night some of you i feel as though your dream home there's going to be a garden and at night, it's going to be lit up very beautifully. Maybe you may have like lanterns at night lit up in your garden that overlooks the pool or the beach or the river or lake. Like I said, there's going to be a large body of water near your home. Yeah, I'm picking up on major aquatic vibes for your dream home. And like, look at this dome like like a dome something about your home is going to be very very uh, modern the design of your home very clean and modern but very unique something about the architectural design of your home is going to be very unique also very futuristic as well You may have like a an area in your home, like a rooftop area that is that you that is covered, like a patio rooftop balcony kind of situation going on that you can go and chill on. That's interesting. Like I said, I didn't want this to be super long. So let's get um with Paulus of Cups. Let's get some examples of my magazine clippings. You guys have colors of queens. Yeah, this is you guys. Okay. So like I was already saying with the pool. So some of you guys, maybe you may have like an affinity pool. See like a garden grass area, but there's also sand. So something like this. This is actually in Bimini, Bahamas. It says this St. Bart's estate embraces the same stylish and fashionable designs as the island it was named after. This unit was designed for you to enjoy the indoor and outdoor spaces of your home. So like I was saying, something about... You, you having a garden, you having a patio, you be like the inside design is really dope, but the outside is really nice as well, very inviting. So like it's saying, you're gonna be able to, you're honestly gonna enjoy time inside your home just as much as time outside of your home and your compound or in your, your yard. And what did I say about having a unique design? It says it's whimsical features, give it a feel all on its own. So something about your dream home is gonna come off as very whimsical. It's almost like I can see like your dream home easily being on like HGTV type shit like or like, you know, those shows on Netflix. I forget what it's called where like they come in. I don't know, but I just feel as if something about your home is going to be very whimsical, very, very unique. It says it's whimsical features. Give it a feel all on its own. Welcoming, welcoming you back to encounter the freedom the islands offer. So some of you guys, like I was saying, a large body of water. So I wouldn't be surprised if you lived on some sort of island. Also, with this home, for some of you guys, it may look like this with palm trees. It says, uh, this is the epitome of luxury and beauty. Experience a breathtaking floor plan created to offer the perfect setting for entertaining guests in the West Indy French style home. So who knows? Maybe some of you guys, you'll li literally live in the West Indies. Maybe some of you guys, it'll literally be a French style home like this. But your your home is going to be so dope that you're going to entertain a lot of guests. I'm just hearing like people are going to absolutely love to go over to or come over to your home. And I randomly heard wine cellar. Some of you guys, if you're a wine connoisseur, maybe you may have a wine cellar. It says the living spaces are open and airy with exterior tubs and allow you to enjoy the natural feel that only Bimini offers. And this is 3.8. So like some of you guys, your home is going to be very, very expensive or you're going to put a lot of uh, money into your home. Because look, on the water. So again, this confirms like some of you guys, your home is going to be on the water. It's going to be on the beach by a large body of water. See reef point. And look, you have all, you can see all the coral reef. So some of you are definitely, your dream home is definitely located somewhere in the tropics with pink sand and beautiful turquoise water. 
It says this estate comp uh, comprises three main homes and multiple cottages. So some of you guys, maybe you ha may have multiple different homes on your property. Which is really dope. Look at the price tag on that. Some of you guys, your, your dream home is going to be very expensive. And this is from uh, Cujo Key, Florida. Maybe some of you guys, literally, your dream home is located in Florida. Three bedroom, two bath, concrete home. See? Cujo Gardens offering. So it's going to be very big. And it's going to be, you're going to feel like your home is abundant. It's going to have beautiful accents throughout the home including volume ceilings and beautiful custom cabinetry, fantastic dockage. Some of you guys, you may even have your own dock, your own boat with the 80 foot concrete dock, which divots and cut and cut in for protection. Also, you're gonna feel very protected in your home. I heard security systems. So something about your security system is gonna be uh, top, top notch, cutting edge, state of the art. But yeah, some of you guys, I'm hearing boat club. You're going to be in a boat club. <laughs> All right. So this is what I'm picking up for uh, the dream home you're manifesting. You know, hopefully, you know, this resonates and inspires you to like, you know, acquire this dream home. So I'm wishing you all the very best. If you're interested in your own very own video reading, www.johantaroshop.com is my website link below. Um, you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. Interesting. Okay, so if you're drawn to this option, let's take a look at the dream home you're manifesting. Ooh, the palace of coins. So I feel as though your dream home is going to be somewhere out in nature with amazing scenic views because look, you can literally see the mountains in the background. Look, look at the reindeer or the deer. I feel like a lot of animals, a lot of wildlife are going to come on your property. Look at the owl. Some of you guys, you're going to be able to bird watch from your porch or balcony or bedroom. Look at the wild mushrooms and the berries. Some of you guys, there's going to be a lot of wild flowers and fruits that grow in the area. I'm also picking up, you're going to have your own garden where you grow your own fruit and vegetables. You're, I'm hearing live off the land, sustainable lifestyle. But I'm also hearing like your home is going to be environmentally friendly. So like it's going to be a home that like is designed to not waste or like, you know, conserve water and not like be wasteful. Maybe you, you may even have solar panels in your home. I just heard the word vegetation. So there's going to be very lush vegetation around your home. A lot of trees. But your home, I feel like there's going to be a lot of pillars in your home. Very, very beautiful. Very earthy. You're going to feel very grounded in your home. But also with this palace of coins, coins is pentacles, right? In tarot. This is giving me old money vibes. So maybe some of you guys, you may end up living in an heirloom home. Whether this is something that you inherited or you bought from somebody else through an estate sale or something of the sorts. For some of you, I'm picking up, like, your home is going to be his, something, like, it's going to be, have a very rich history. It's going to be very historic. So, for some of you, I'm picking up, you may end up buying a home, for example, that used to belong to a senator or a, a famous 1950s movie star, for example. Oh, you know, so-and-so used to live here. So, I feel as though you're, this home is going to be very expensive and it's going to be in a very affluent area. Like new, like old money, it kind of neighborhood where, like, you know, your neighbors, their home has been in their their family for like a hundred years, type shit. Some of you guys, you may end up living in an old Victorian home that has modern amenities, so it was renovated to be modern, but it's an old Vic. Some of you guys, I'm hearing like gated community. Maybe you may even have a gate in your dream home. But yeah, I'm picking up on old money vibes. So for those of you who are not inheriting it and purchasing it, or purchasing it buying it from somebody else, I'm picking up 
whoever it is that you're buying it from, they had it for a very long time. It could have been in their family for hundreds of or hundreds of years or 50 years. Like it's just, it's going to have a lot of character. It's going to be very old. But very, very beautiful nonetheless with this palace of coins. Some of you guys, I'm picking up, when you buy the home, you may end up doing renovations on it and you're going to put a lot of money into it. But you're going to customize it to exactly what you want. So I'm hearing it's going to be just perfect for you. A green room. Some of you guys, you may have a green room. Or even if you live in a state or a country where cannabis is legal, like Amsterdam, for example, you may even have your own grow room where you grow cannabis. Some of you guys, you may end up growing truffles or mushrooms even. All right, so I didn't want this to be super duper long. Let's get some realistic visuals, real life visuals from this magazine. So where's, okay, here's Paulus of Coins. Well, you guys got a lot for visual. Okay, so yeah, so your home could be somewhere like this, like literally, this is why I picked this out for this. Look at the card and look at the picture. See how you see the mountains in the back the same way with the trees, see? So some of you guys, again, you're gonna have amazing scenic views from your home. Some of you may even have a, a lake, a small lake or a pond on your property, or you may live next to some sort of small body of water. Not the sea or ocean or anything. I'm, I'm picking up meaning like a, like a lake or a stream. This is in Boozman, Mont uh, Montana. Mon I was going to say Montana. <laughs> Montana. It says a masterpiece of rustic modern design and craftsmanship. This Montana ranch style home is situated on a premier four acre lot in Sandal Peak Ranch with two acres adjust of adjusting open space. So you're going to have a lot of open space on your property and Bridger Mountain View. So you're gonna have, again, mountain views. This single story main house was designed, engineered, and crafted with, with the highest quality materials and finishes. Some of you guys, is gonna be a single level home, but for a lot of you guys I'm picking up, is gonna be like this, maybe three to four stories or even two. See, look at the views from inside. So mountain views. You're going to be able to see sitting your, I'm hearing the word parlor or your living room or sitting area. And like, I'm also hearing bar. You're going to have your own bar in your home, but you're going to be, be able to look and see the beautiful na natural nature scenic views. Colorado. So again, some of you guys, you may end up having a lot of trees around. Look at the beautiful porch. Maybe you guys may have a porch or a veranda or some like a green room or somewhere that you can sit outside in and really, really enjoy the views out in nature. This is a prairie style home. So maybe some of you guys, your dream home, you're going to end up manifesting a ranch style home or a prairie style home. Close to the airport. There's also a lot of trails outside for you to go hiking. See? Again, while you're in your living room, you're going to be able to see nature. Very beautiful. Canyon views as well as mountain views. Some of you guys are going to have a, a natural spring or pond. I've been said that. Get drenched in sunshine. Some of you guys, the way lighting comes into your home, you're going to feel like you're home has perfect lighting especially if you like to take pictures you're going to love that it's this private oasis out back as the home opens up to a converted patio and extends to the fire pit so some of you guys you may have your own fire pit and a covered patio you're really going to feel like your home is your private oasis away from the city away from the loud you know energy and hustle and bustle of the city your home is going to be tucked away this is in aspen some of you, even from your bed, you're going to be able to see the mountain view. You're going to have a fireplace. It's just going to be really, really cozy. It's giving me cabin energy, but like a modern, contemporary cabin kind of feel. Yeah, like I said, this is giving me old money, right? 
So some of you guys, your dream home is really going to be old money. Look at the price tag on, the, on this one. Four fireplaces, 8.5 baths, and six bedrooms. It says panoramic views of the NYC skyline. So I'm telling you, something about where you live, you're going to have amazing views. And some of you guys, maybe you will be out in the, like out in the middle of nowhere, out in nature. But for some of you guys, you will be... I'm hearing a stone's throw away from the city. So you'll be on the outskirts of the city, but not too far. Because this one says panoramic, panoramic views of NYC skyline. So you're still going to be able to see um, the city skyline, if that applies. If you live near a city. multi tier surveillance system. So something about your surveillance system in your dream home is going to be top tier. Electronic gate. So I've been saying you're going to live in a gated community. You're, you may even have a smartphone controlled saltwater pool and more, it says. So I, I feel as though like your dream home is going to exceed your expectations. It's like you can't even imagine how your dream home is going to be. It's going to be all this and so much more if you were drawn to this palace of coins. And I'm also hearing the resale value because some sort of famous senator or movie star or somebody famous used to live in your home. It, it's a very good selling point for that people are going to absolutely love that especially when you have people coming uh, come over and you tell them the history of the home they're going to absolutely be intrigued your home has a very rich history whatever home you're going to end up moving into all right so that's what i'm picking up for you guys i hope you enjoy infinite abundance as always if you're interested in your own video reading um the links are down below you guys will see me in your next one bye okay so if you're drawn to this option, let's take a look at the dream home you're manifesting. Ooh, Palace of Wands. Your home is your dream home is gonna be a party home. You're gonna do a lot of entertaining. Your home is the fun home. I wouldn't be surprised if like your your dream home has like a movie theater. A, a room where you have a pool table, a playroom. Like your your house is just gonna be really, really fun. Re very fun. Also, look at the view. So maybe some of you guys, you may live out in the mountains or you'll have a view of the mountains from your dream home. I'm hearing at nighttime specifically, your home, the way it lights up is going to be so beautiful. So beautiful at night, all the lighting. Your home is going to have a lot of flowers, a lot of beautiful. I'm hearing exotic, rare flowers or plants that you don't see very often. And because of this, it's going to attract a lot of butterflies. I'm also hearing multiple car garage as well. So you may have like a lot of space on your property to park your cars and still have even more space to entertain, to have parties in your compound or in your yard. I'm like, it's very grand, a very grand home. And like before you even get open the door, you're gonna have to like walk, kind of walk up it a ways, walk through the garden, meander. I'm hearing the word meander, like, you know, go through like a maze to just get into your home. It's gonna be tucked away by a lot of plants and trees and beautiful flowers. Also with this palace of wands, I feel as though the architectural design of your home is very creative, the way it was designed very very creative but also i'm hearing like your home is going to be a very creative space as well so i wouldn't be surprised if you have like your own arts and crafts room or you have your own music studio in your home like i just feel as though you're going to have a dedicated area for your hobbies or for your crafts and you know other stuff that you like to do especially the music studio so if you're a musician you're going to have your own studio in your home even if you're not Maybe some of you guys, you acquired this home or bought this home um, from someone who used to be a musician, who used to work in the music industry for some of you guys. But I'm also hearing like the aesthetic of this home is going to pull from different countries. So maybe one side of the home is going to be like um, what are those those kind of houses called? You know those Mexican style homes that they have in um, 
in, uh, in New Mexico, like that kind of style of home. And then another side of the home is going to be like a New England kind of energy. And then the other side of the home is going to give you like Mediterranean vibes. I just feel as though your home is going to be a melting pot of different cultures coming together to d form a very unique design. I hope that makes sense. Also, you're going to have a, a very large patio that overlooks the city or overlooks nature that you can stand on. Very beautiful. You know, like how those homes in like California Hills, they have, they have like the back patio, a large back patio that you can like stand on and look, you kind of, you know, look at the hills. Okay, so let's get some visuals. I don't want this to be super duper long. So this home right here is actually in New Jersey. So it says uh, this sunny residence has it all. Quality appointments throughout inc include custom molding and high ceilings. So your home is going to have custom molding, moldings and high ceilings. Its many features include a gourmet kitchen. So you're going to have your own gourmet kitchen. You're going to have a first floor master bedroom suite four fireplaces, a home theater. So like I said, your home is going to be very fun. A home theater, a game room, an exercise room, a bar, a saltwater pool, a hot tub, a four-car garage, which I low-key, I don't even, I didn't read it getting that far because I. the reason I said a multiple-car garage initially is because of th these two. These two remind me of cars, right? Horsepower, horses, modern times, or cars. So it's crazy it came up here. And this is a much more nestled in the 2.3 acres of resort-like grounds. At Okay, so your home is going to feel like a resort. You're going to always feel like you're at a hotel or you're at a resort, but it's going to feel homely at your home. It's going to be very beautiful. And it says it, um, it ends at a private lane. So maybe you're going to end, your, your home is going to be at the end of like a cul-de-sac. And it says spectacular home will not disappoint. You're going to be very, very pleased with your home. It's like you can't even imagine how your home is going to look. It's going to exceed all your expectations. Oh, also, I just noticed, look at, I don't know if that's like the moon or the sun. You're going to have amazing sunset views because I remember I seen this and I was like, oh, this would be perfect for a wand's house. So something about the, the sunset from your home, you're going to have a beautiful view of the sunset. Remember how I mentioned something about you having a, like a large balcony or a patio? So you're going to be able to like, I'm telling you, you're, the, like the view of the sunset is going to be so beautiful. I'm hearing the sunrise and the sunset. You're going to be able to watch it. Maybe some of you guys with this Napa Valley energy, maybe you may end up living in wine country, even if it's not specifically California. Maybe you may even grow your own grapes. You may have your own vineyard. Your home is going to be very sophisticated, modern. Some of you got guys, it may even be a barn style residence. It may look something like this. You may have access to nearby trails if you like to go ha um, hiking. I was about to say if you like to go hacking. If you like to go hiking. Some of you guys, it's going to be a six bedroom home and it's going to blend beautifully with rustic and modern elements. Didn't I say something about they're going to blend different elements from different cultures or different countries or different aesthetics together? So it's crazy. It says that the six bedroom home beautifully blends rustic elements with modern design, communicating seamlessly with the outdoors. So your home is going to be in the great outdoors. You're going to have a lot of land, a lot of um a lot, I will say a lot of property, so a lot of land on your property, or you're going to own a lot of property. There's a little pool back there, so some of you guys, you may have your own pool. Yeah, so some of you guys, your home may look like this. See the light? The light's really pretty. So again, something about your light, your lights, when, when you, like at nighttime, it's going to be very pretty. Look at the views of the hill, right? So this is like a realistic, modern, or, and versus this right you get to see like you know how it may look in person see how they have like little beds that they're growing something and then they have the the grapes growing in the vineyard so again you may have your own farm going on you're going to grow things your home is also going to be very expensive especially if you acquire this home from someone who used to work in the entertainment industry, for example, because of their because their name being attached to this home is going to make the price tag go up.
but you're going to have a, an amazing um, resale value. Like it's not going to depreciate in value over the years. You're going to, I'm hearing even if you decide to sell this money, um, if you're going to decide to sell this home, you're going to actually get even more money out of it that you, than you initially paid for or that you put in. All right. So this is what I'm picking up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed infinite abundance as always. You guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. Okay, last but not least, if you're drawn to this fluorite, let's take a look at the dream home you're manifesting. You have the Palace of Swords. So the dream home you're manifesting, I'm hearing is going to be um, very futuristic. This is giving me the Jetsons vibe. So very futuristic, ahead of its time, very modern, state-of-the-art appliances. It's going to be like one of those smart homes where everything is like hooked up to something to where you can control your home from your smartphone. You can lock the door, turn on the lights. You know, you let's say you have something in the oven, you go look in the oven, and before you even approach the oven, the light of the oven turns on so you can see. Like, I just feel as though the, the appliances and just your home itself is going to be very intuitive to your needs. I wouldn't be surprised, like, if you have, like, a, a Tesla or some sort of electric car, um, you're going to be able to charge your car right from your garage, like, I just feel as though your home is going to be very, very futuristic, state of the art, stainless steel appliances, hardwood floors. Also, your home is going to be like very aesthetically pleasing, but minimalistic as well. So, you know, think of like if Apple, right, Macintosh, if a Apple came out with a home, that's how your home would look. Something about it is just very futuristic. Or if like Tesla decided to start building homes and selling them, your home, like think think of that. It's like your home is Apple meets Tesla kind of energy. I wouldn't even be surprised if you guys have solar panels. A lot of glass, a lot of glass, a lot of steel, like I said, stainless steel appliances. If you have stairs, for example, going up the stairs is gonna be stainless steel or glass. Floor to, floor to ceiling windows, glass windows. Some of you guys, you may, your dream home may even be a condominium or like a penthouse. Some of you guys, there's going to be an elevator that goes straight to your home. You know, like in the, uh, the show Go uh, Power with Ghosts, how they had like the elevator in the penthouse that went straight to their living room kind of energy. It opens straight up to your kitchen. I'm hearing like high rise. So your dream home is going to be in the city. So this is the vibes I'm, I'm picking up. This is actually in Dubai. So this is what your dream home is giving me. Some of you guys, you may have a view overlooking the city, city views. You may have a really pretty balcony like that, that you can like, you know, chill on. Go out there and eat, go out there, do yoga, go out there and have a blunt or a joint. I don't know. Go out, go out there and have a glass of wine. It's going to be a very, in a very luxurious setting. It says these residents come with undisputed privileges, such as a rooftop swimming pool, offering a breathtaking view over downtown Dubai. There is also a health club, terrace, and two stories of restaurants, cafes, and shopping areas. So I feel as though this is the energy, even if it's not specifically in Dubai, this is the energy I'm picking up for your dream home. You're going to have your own like concierge or valet parking. You're going to have a lot of um, grocery shops around boutiques luxury shops cafes some of you guys remember i was saying it's very futuristic if apple and tesla were to make a home some of you guys maybe you again this is this is the audi design loft so again some of you guys maybe your home may look something like this so if you don't live in the city in a high rise it may look like this also, I was picking up on a lot of glass, right? Glass, for floor to ceiling windows. So a lot of glass in your home. This is the energy I was picking up or it's giving me. And you see how you, see how you can see the city. So you're going to have amazing views, again, overlooking the city. That looks like LA. I could be wrong, though. But yeah, a lot of glass. A lot of glass. Stainless steel appliances, very minimalistic, a very sterile look as well. So it's going to be very easy to clean. So like I said, some of you guys, it could be a penthouse or a condo. Offers 
unobstructed views. Of, this is in Boston and the Charles River. So some of you guys, you may even be able to see the river as well in this. I think this is like a man-made lake. So you, you're going to be able to see some sort of body of water from your home. It has panoramic views, natural sunlight, 24-hour four-season amenities. An ideal luxury retreat. You're gonna really feel like your your dream home is ideal for you. You're gonna feel like it's a I, it's a luxury retreat. Some of you guys, if your home is close to the ocean, you're gonna have ocean views from your home. Also, it's gonna be very colorful. Some of you guys is gonna be minimalistic but colorful. But some of you guys, your home is gonna be very neutral. You know, like that whole Kanye and Kim Kardashian aesthetic, very bland, a bunch of neutral colors like browns, grays, blacks for some of you. But others of you, you know, it's going to be very colorful with pops of color. Some of you guys, you may end up having the largest single uh, unit in the building or the large, like your unit is going to be the biggest or it's going to be very large. There's going to be an open living and dining area, a chef's kitchen, porcelain towels, an expansive terrace, and an amazing ocean and city skyline view. So it's going to be an open concept, very open. Yeah, see penthouse. Your dream home is going to have luxurious finishes and modern architectural elements with space with spacious balconies throughout the unit. Living extends seamlessly to outdoor spaces. So I'm picking up you're going to love to like wine and dine out, you know, on your patio, on your balcony. You're really going to enjoy that. And again, more breathtaking views of the city skyline. Also, I'm picking up... Your, your dream home is going to be designed by an internationally acclaimed architect, someone who's really popular. So you're going to spend a lot of money on your condo or in, the, or in this penthouse. All right, so this is what I'm picking up for you guys, short and to the point. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in your very own video reading, um, the links from my website are down below. Other than that, I appreciate everybody for your continued support. Thank you so much for sending tips, for ordering readings, leaving comments, and just being nice. You know, I, I really, really feel all of the love, and it definitely does not go unnoticed. I'm wishing you guys all the best. See you in the next reading. Bye.